Right, I'm just surrounded by summer flower, wildflowers. I'm just, um, just taking a little tiny walk up here. There's the um, Kilv cricket ground there. Quantock's ahead. Um, the church came into view at Kilv a minute ago. Then you've got a hill lane that I'm going to go up on the way back in the van. And of course up here, right on the edge, I'm not going to get too close because this could be overhang here. But look at the beauty of these flowers. The nourishment they must get from here. Yeah, it's really great, isn't it? But of course, if the tides get higher, you know, the, the sea level. What's that out there? A minute. It's like some yellow cones. I wonder what they're marking with them. Look. Of course, over there you've got the dredgers, isn't it? I should come in in a minute. There's a dredger, one dredger there. You can hear them humming every now and again. Of course, just round the corner here, I expect we'll see it in a minute. I expect we'll see it in a minute. I ought, I ought to get off the top here, really. It's pretty, though. It's pretty. I'll be going back down that way in a minute, back down to the uh, to Alberta, who's been there all day. But, God, I had such a long day in the flat yesterday. It was really hot. It, actually, it was hotter than today. Um, and, and to me, it was too hot. I mean, this has been a hot day. But, um, it was very hot yesterday. I only went up the shops and I was sweltering. But I have to get out as I get severe cabin fever if I don't get out. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? I just can't get over it, the beauty of all this. Obviously, it would be bleaker in the winter with there being not the flowers out, but then you might get different flowers. You see? I'm just doing a little bit of the coastal path. Birds busy. Of course, I was down there earlier where those people are. Um, no, actually, I didn't come around that, but I wanted to, though. I'm going to keep that for another day. I mean, that bit there just looks like one giant fossil anyway. Could have been a dinosaur, couldn't it? Could have been a dinosaur. I'm on my second memory card, you know. I've already filled up 16 gigabytes. I've been on the go since at least half past ten. At least half past ten, if not earlier. No, it would have been about half ten when I really got going because I had to stop, get petrol, um, get some money out the hole in the wall, um, drive. It's a good 40 minutes drive from Weston. No traffic jams, so I managed to get along without any of that. Of course you can walk for miles, you can walk the whole coast. I'm only doing a little bit, I've got to turn back in a minute, I've got to make myself. I just want to home in on a dead tree in a field over there. There's probably what's a living tree and they've... Look. Completely dead but probably once of significance and they've left it there. It's always a bit spooky when you see that, isn't it? Look at my beautiful Quantox. Look at them. I love them. I love all this. I'm going to turn back in a minute. I just want to get up onto this corner. just want to get up on here and then I'm turning back. They've built another track there you're supposed to follow for safety, but then you don't see nothing, do you? 
you don't see nothing. Just looking back there. The sun is so warm. I'm surrounded by beauty and my beautiful Somerset. There we go. I've got as far as this tower, look. I've got as far as this tower that I've seen in the distance. Which I should go in. Go in and I can see even more beach along there. Doesn't say you can't come in here, does it? Lookout tower. Who would have thought I could have got in here? I've seen this for miles, this place. I was over at... I didn't get onto that beach because I didn't know if the tide was coming in. But I've seen those two people there. I was, fur I was further on round, round there. You see that fencing? I was sort of on that ledge there, sat there I was. There's plenty of time. Well, there is never plenty of time. But this is a little lookout tower, look. And there's looking that way. There's another tower, I'll do that another day. There's more of like a glass one. I mean, maybe you can climb up in it. But just look at the geology in that in the hills here. I've seen this particular piece of rock and beach miles back. I've been taking pictures of this. Miles back. I've already seen one huge wasp nest today in a barn I went in. So there you go, Sheila. I think you've done enough. I don't think you should go crawling around too far. Um, turn off and take some pictures now. Over and out. Right then, this is the last video now. There's a, there's a church right over there. Can't remember the name of it, but I've been in it. It's not far from Listock Beach. I can't remember the name of it now, but you have to climb up a steep hill to get to it. I've been up a couple, I've been in a couple of little old chapels that, hang, that are about out there as well. When I used to cycle around here a couple of years back. There's the Quandock Hills, the beautiful Quandock Hills. And then if we zoom in over there on the end of that cliff, there's a little tower and I was inside it a minute ago. See that little brick tower? I got in that, took some photos from inside it, right on the perch on the edge of that cliff, look. And I've been taking pictures of it all day. But now it's time to go home. I've got to try my kettle out in the van. Have a purple tea. <sighs> By the time I get back and get started, I'm not going to bother checking out that campsite today either. Because uh, I haven't decided yet what I'm doing. Uh, just a little wander back down, getting the other perspective going in reverse, you see. And climb up there, actually, it's easier on the feet. So, yeah, there's some. Um, Sheer drops down there to the beach. All the geology on display. Looks like a face, doesn't it? Looks like a face. All the bees are busy. There's some, I think there's somebody coming now. I don't know if there is. Is that somebody or is that a fence? It's funny how people can look, take on the shape of a fence, isn't it? Yeah, it's a glorious summer's day. Like I said, this is the first time I've been out on this particular walk ever. This bit. 
I've done a bit, bit further over and of course I've done the contacts, lots of the contacts I've done. I haven't explored a lot of Exmoor, driven across it. Whether I've got the time, the energy or the money to do all that now, I don't know. Um, it's, it comes down to money sometimes because the thing is, some people would just go and uh, get bed and breakfast or stay in a hotel or something, you know. People have got money, they can afford to do that way, do, do everything like that. I've got my little van. I have to keep her maintained. Look at that lovely field though. I don't think that is barley, is it? Not that, that ain't barley, is it? It's more advanced than the other one. What do you think that is? Is that wheat? It's beautiful, isn't it? Corn, wheat, whatever it is. It's not corn. I think it's wheat. Well, I'm not sure. I can't remember now. But it's very, very, very lovely. And it, cause it, the farmer just told me a minute ago that will be harvest time. They're going to start harvest. They're going to start bringing the combine harvesters in. Um, aware of England playing football in the week. But i got a feeling it's an evening game. Yeah, so it's a good job I moved Alberta because he did say he was clearing all the hedges while he was um, cutting back all the shrubbery was because he had to make room for the combine harvesters. Um, that will be coming along. I said to him, God, harvest gets earlier and earlier. You know, I think he said because it's the dry weather. It's brought everything on quicker. Right, I'm going to turn off now because it's not good for the camera to be facing the bright sunshine all the time. I'll just get over the ridge of this hill. Just zoom in on the church again. Where we started. There it is. St Mary the Virgin. I know I've videoed it quite a few times now. <sighs> I've got to go to Zara's. I've got to empty my, um, my toilet thing. There's only water in there, really, but it doesn't fill up quick. I mean, I think when it rains, the water goes in there somehow. So I think I hardly use the thing. I hardly use it, to be quite honest. It's handy in emergencies. Right. Okay, Quantox, I'll be over to you shortly. Not now, but in a week or so. Doing a bit more exploring. Over and out.